Judy, that tow truck driver's colleagues tell ABC 7 he had just started working at ASAP towing within the past couple of weeks when he was killed in the crossfire last night. Now, the manager of ASAP towing says he and his employees are just trying to manage this devastating loss. And he caught a bullet, you know, I mean, come on. I mean, it sucks. Anybody could have, it could happen to anybody. Drivers with ASAP towing embrace one another as candles mark the spot where they tragically lost one of their own late Sunday night. I was nauseous. I almost threw up like, wow, you know, it's just, it's hard to see, you know, your own team member, you know. Chicago police say the 49 year old tow truck driver was heading down the 1900 block of West Fulton just before 11 o'clock when two suspects opened fire from different vehicles. Police say the tow truck driver was shot under his arm and then smashed his truck into a bus stop at the intersection of Fulton and Damon. He died at a nearby hospital. Less than 24 hours later, debris from the crash still litters the scene. We have the right to live, you know what I mean? We gotta work, we gotta come out here and make a living, and we can't just come out here and, and, and make a living scared. Edwin Rivera tells ABC7 he's known the victim for 20 years and says the driver had only been working at ASAP towing for two weeks. And this guy's almost 50 years old, and, you know, and one of the most you know, tremendous guy, stand up guy. Rivera believes the driver was heading home when he was caught in the crossfire. It can happen to you, it can happen to us right now. Which Rivera says only heightens his fears about safety in the city, especially when he's just trying to provide for his family. Well, I'm a grown man, but I gotta come out here and, and kinda ignore the fact that I'm a little scared to come out here because if not, I will be at home not making any money. Now, Rob, please tell me they are still looking for suspects at this hour as Area 3 detectives investigate. We're live in the near west side. I'm Christian Picos, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.